Welcome back to Blyle Dev. this is Bo again. Uh, today we're going to go over how to uh, check to see if an email is valid when a user gives uh, a certain email. I've already set up a view controller here with a text field, which I've left, you can see a tiny text there, it says email, so we're prompting them to insert an email, and I have a submit button. Um, and so you typically do this if you're asking um, users to give you an email, maybe they want to subscribe to something, or maybe they have a question or concern, and uh, you putting that email text field as a way of getting back with them, getting in touch with them. Um, regardless of what it is, um, I'm going to show you guys how to check to make sure the email that they're putting in is actually a valid email, not just some random jargon. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to go to our view controller. You can see I've already set up an outlet for the text field, and I've already set up an action for the button being pressed. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go here. I have these functions already written out to make life easier. You're welcome to download them in the link below under this video, or you can just pause the video right now and copy them. But this function right here is called isValidEmail. It's going to return a value of bool, so it's going to be a true or false. Um, it'll return true if the email um, that is submitted seems to be a valid email, and it's going to return false if it's not a proper email. And we're not checking that it actually exists. We are just checking that the formatting of the email is correct, that you know it starts with something, um, some valid text, it has an at symbol after that, followed by some sort of text, plus a dot, plus some sort of text. And so that's all we're doing. It's not like anything super fancy, but it will trim out you know, 95% of wrong types of emails. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm actually now going to add this little line. I'm going to add a let into my um, function button press. So when the button's pressed, I'm going to check to see the email.text, um, that text field. I'm going to compare it in this function. And I'm going to see whether or not it's a valid email. And I'm, if it is, email, this value right here, is going to be set to true. If it's not, this value is going to be set to false. Now, if it's set to false, I do want to have an if statement to check for that. Because if it's false, I do not want to proceed. I want to prompt the user saying, hey, this is wrong. You need to redo it. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back here. I actually have another function for showing alerts. And I'm going to just use a simple alert in this function. OK. And I'm going to say show alert. And by the way, if you're unfamiliar with what this is, show alert, it's just going to pop up an error message on the screen. Uh, I have another tutorial where I show you how to use that a little bit more thoroughly. Um, but for our sake, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. And I'm just going to output error. And right here, I'm going to put this is not a valid email. Please try again. Get rid of the spaces. And I also, once I show that alert, I also do want to erase whatever text the user has put into that text field so that they're prompted to do it again. So I'm actually going to say email text because that's the name of our uh, outlet that we're working with. So email text dot text is equal to nil. You know, there's nothing inside of the string. It's just an empty string. Alrighty. And so really simply what we're doing here, if it's not a valid email, it's going to return error. This is not a valid email. Please try again. And I'll prompt them to do it again. And every time they press it, it's going to compare to see if the new email they entered is correct. And it's going to keep on doing that until they give a valid um, value. And so to show you guys how this is going to work, I'm going to open up the simulator uh, for iPhone 7 Plus. I'm going to pull that open here. And like I said, the show alert uh, function, I have another tutorial um, where I show you guys how to do that. If you have any questions, you can refer to that. If you have questions um, about specifics or about certain situations or you have some code you'd like to show me, feel free to message me. I'd be happy to help. Okay, so let's look at our simulator. So we have this email box, and I'm just going to say test.com. Uh, I'm going to click Submit, and it says, Error, this is not a valid email. Please try again. Okay, so I'm going to say test at gmail.com. I'm going to submit that, and it seems to work because it's not rejecting it. And what we can do here, just to show with a little more clarity that it does work, outside we can say... Um, if it's not, if it's anything other than false, so if the email is true, so we say else, we can say show alert, and we can say success. Oh, 
excuse me, I want to put this in parentheses. We'll say this is a valid email. And let's also set the email text to nil after that. I'm going to wait for that to load again. And like I said, you can see here, um, I just have some simple functions that I've written out. Uh, I like to store these um, in different text files on my computer. Um, they come in handy in future projects. A lot of times what you'll find is when you make um, multiple applications, there are a lot of different things that you will use over time, and it's a really good idea to, to break down these functions and to actually store them somewhere. That way you can just replicate old code. It makes life a lot easier, makes everything a lot faster. Okay, so let's go back here. Let's enter a valid email. Success, this is a valid email. Perfect. So that's that. If you guys have any questions, feel free to message me, but that's the tutorial for you guys today.